what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically work with preferences because our menu had the preferences option so we're going to work with that and basically the beauty of preferences is it will save the data even if you exit the application so actually what I'm going to do real quickly is go into our menu and add just one more item and this will just exit our program so we're going to just say uh, exit here real quickly and prefer or uh, ID is exit so we can refer to that later but uh, let's get into it what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a, or create a new folder called XML and this is gonna hold our pre where we're gonna put our preferences so again new folder all lowercase XML make sure it's within your resource folder right here hit finish and then just right click hit new Android XML file just like always and we're gonna call this prefs XML and we have to choose which kind of prep or which kind of resource we'd like this to be and so we're gonna select preference right here and again this is gonna the reason why we select this is it's gonna have a lot of defined stuff for us it's gonna save our preferences and upload them anytime we access them for the most part so that's really good um, good stuff good stuff so then we're gonna go into the XML section of our preferences and set up or see what we can set up and then set up some stuff so uh, greater than sign and we have a few ch choices here so let's say edit text preference checkbox preference and list preference those are basically uh, the standard preferences that you're gonna use so we're gonna set this edit text preference up we're gonna say Android and just like when we set up an item it's gonna to refer to a title for the most part so we're gonna say title and we're gonna say uh, edit text or whatever you guys want to title it as and then we're also gonna say a key again this is a way that uh, the computer or Android saves it um, to the most part and we're gonna just say um, name is the key reference and Android uh, we can also do like summary let's do uh, enter your name and there we go I mean for the most part we are done with this preference let's set up a new one um, so let's go still within our preference overall thing and then set up a uh, checkbox so checkbox preference and we're gonna say again Android <coughs> title checkbox and uh, Android and we can set this checkbox if we want to be checked when it starts or unchecked so we're gonna say uh, default value which is what it's gonna start as and we can either set this to true or false so we're gonna say true and also we're gonna add a key reference so again it can save it and we're gonna call this key reference um, check box It's not really gonna this isn't really gonna do much but uh, we're just setting it up for the most part and again Android summary summary equals uh, check this box for the most part nothing spectacular and then we're just gonna finish it by forward slash less than sign and let's do one last one last one here so we're gonna say list preference Android um, title list set up a key reference we're gonna also call that list as well we're gonna set up a summary this is a list to choose from and then we're also going to set up something else called Android entries and this will, these will be the entries within the list and we're going to say equals um, new array for the most part or array array a reference that we're going to re refer to here so we're going to say array forward slash list and uh, Android also 
that's good that's good for now so we're gonna finish that off and then check it out um, as you can see we have this preference screen right here and we have uh, edit text checkbox and a list view so that's uh, basically gonna be the end of this tutorial pretty short and then we're gonna set up our list array in the next tutorial um, it's not going to be as, as confusing as the last time we set up a list array. This is going to be a little bit different, a little bit easier. So stay tuned, guys. I'll have a good have a good one.